guys welcome back today's video is gonna be a talk through makeup tutorial I'm gonna be using some things that I haven't used in a little bit I'm gonna use one of these lip glosses by Anastasia I still have them in this little box I just feel like they stay there <laughs> exactly where I want them they're just small so I don't really know where to put them yet and then I also have the chasing rainbows palette which I haven't used in a while and I want to use this shade oh wait over here <laughs> this shade right here in the corner it's a very pretty dual chrome type of shade i want to use that one today and then i'm going to be using these two new ones this is the milani conceal and perfect foundation and concealer so haven't done anything not even my brows why did i say that weird not even my brows so i'm going to go ahead and start with my face because i'm going to do my foundation first and if you can hear like a little bit of a like noise that just sounds like you know like a humming sound almost I try to fix the audio in the like to remove the noise in the while I'm editing because I have some small little heaters turned on because it's actually really really cold it's in the negatives and and so I don't think I'll be able to take them off because uh, I have them all on sometimes I try to turn them off whenever I'm filming so you can't hear that but it's pretty cold not in here but outside it's cold and it's in the negatives right now I don't know I haven't checked the weather but it has been in the negatives like it's going to be l less the highest is going to be negative one i think that's what my husband told me and so yeah it's just been it's pretty cold and i'm someone who's always cold and right now i'm okay inside <laughs> but outside it's very cold so for primer i'm going to use the maybelline master prime primer since i am using a drugstore foundation and concealer i just want to use a drugstore primer today too I love this primer. This one feels very, very smooth. If you haven't tried it, I do recommend it. It's one of my favorite primers. That one and the CoverGirl one, like the white one, they're both very good drugstore primers. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. I forgot to apply the oil. I was going to put that first. So I'm still going to put a little bit. This is the Beauty Bakery oil. And then I'll try the foundation again without the oil, but today I do want to try it with the oil. I'm just going to try it out both ways and then I'll tell you what worked better or if it worked both ways or whatever it is. I'll give you the review later on. It's a foundation and it looks pretty nice. I hadn't opened it, but it didn't have a sticker or anything. Um, so let me just go ahead and... Oh, let me show you how much it has. That's how much it has. <laughs> I didn't know how much it had, so yeah. It's my first time trying it. This is in the color 220 Creamy Natural. Mm. It's a little, I think a little light. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's fine. So let me just apply it everywhere. It seems to be gliding on my face. Um, the oil does help with that though. So, Because every time I use the oil, it makes my skin like... It makes my skin better for foundation and it just makes it easier for me to blend everything out. So let me grab my foundation brush, JH03. It seems a little thin though. I don't I don't know if it's supposed to be full coverage. I don't remember what it said on the thing. I will check, but it seems pretty thin. All right, I'm not having a hard time blending this out. All right, so that's pretty easy to blend out. Feels pretty thin. The coverage to me looks like a light coverage. Let me check real quick what it's supposed to be. Because I can see all my redness around right here in my forehead. Dang, I'm looking at myself in the computer because that's where I have the, the viewfinder thing. And I can see all the redness. Pretty much it looks like I didn't apply anything at all. Everything all right here around my nose, my cheeks. It's like, it's like I barely applied anything at all. So let me check what the coverage is. Okay, I'll have it on the screen like what the coverage is because I'm on the Milani website. And it doesn't tell me any claims or anything like that. It just shows me the shades, which they're 20 by the way. And then the reviews, which someone just wrote, I don't mind it. <laughs> so that is kind of like what I feel. I don't mind it really it just looks like I covered something but not really so to me right now it looks like a light coverage it looks a tiny bit dry I'm always complaining about that like that's probably what you're gonna hear in my foundation reviews if it looks dry just because I do have dry skin but not so bad you know it's just a little bit around my cheeks and stuff so I'm gonna apply a little bit around my forehead okay it doesn't feel as slippery as it did before 
I'm telling you, it was probably the oil that was right underneath it, you know? Um, so I'm gonna be blending this out a little bit more. I don't think I wanna apply more product because it doesn't seem like it's building up or giving me extra coverage. It looks like I'm just piling on some more makeup. Mm, it's all right, I'm gonna try it. Well, you know, now that I'm seeing it, I don't know. I don't think it'll work out without the oil that I have underneath, but I'm gonna try it anyway so that way I can tell you about it. But here's that, so there's a foundation. Again, I feel like it's more of a light coverage foundation. Light, light to medium, but mo more to like a light. Because it does give me some coverage, so I'm not gonna say that it doesn't give me anything, but it's just kind of like a light coverage. Like it's just going to even out my skin tone a tiny bit because I can still see the redness. And then I'm gonna use the concealer. This one does have the wrapper on it. And this one I also, I also, I got it in the color, this one I got it in the color light vanilla. Let me. Looks fine, it's not, looks fine. <laughs> I'm not impressed you guys, I guess I'm not impressed with the products. Um, so here it is, it does look like it's pretty thick there but let me try, that sounded weird, okay. Take two. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the under eyes. That does look like it smells like paint. What else smelled like this? There was another product that smelled kind of like this. What was it? As soon as I smell this, it reminds me of another product. I'm gonna think about it while I'm doing this and I'll tell you what it smells like. Which one was it? I think it was another drugstore product, but I think it was... I can't remember. I can't remember, but I think it was like a foundation or something. So let me go ahead and blend this out. I'm blending this out with my sleek makeup brush that I got from Walgreens. I told you guys about this one already a few times because I've been using it lately. Which one is the foundation that smells like this? Yeah, I think that's it. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I think that one is the one that smells just like this, like paint. Was it this one? I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, that it smelled smell like paint. This one for sure, now I'm looking at it up close, for sure it gives me a lot more coverage than the foundation. My face though, it looks so foundation-y, like I'm wearing tons of makeup. And I didn't apply that much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set everything and I'm going to use the CoverGirl Loose Powder. And the brush that I'm using is the JH07 that I use all the time. And I'm going to take my powder brush and use that same powder to set the rest of my face. The foundation does not look like it's sinking into my skin or anything. It just looks like it's sitting on top. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not liking that finish because it just makes it look kind of cakey, you know? It's not like it looks cakey as in thick, but it's just cakey as in the way it's just sitting on my face. Okay, so then for bronzer, I'm going to use this one by MAC. This is the Patrick Star and MAC one. This one's called Give Me Life. And this is just a matte bronzer. For blush, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Blush and it's the one in the middle. There's only one in here. Oh, this looks pretty. The way that it looks today. I don't know why, but I like it. It's not like... I don't know. It's not like too much, but it's not non-existent. It just looks pretty good today. I don't know. I like it. Highlight, I'm going to use the one in the Gold Hourglass palette. This one is the uh, unlocked and I'm gonna use the one over here in the corner you know what I haven't even used these powders to kind of apply it all over my face maybe I should do that right now since I'm not really liking the way that my foundation looks because I'm telling you it just looks dry and like I wouldn't say no yeah kind of like flat like it's just foundation looking you know kind of dry let me apply a little bit of a finishing powder i'll use this brush right here which is just like a very fluffy brush and i'm gonna apply this shade right here in the corner and see see what that does because that's just kind of like a, a finishing powder or what is it called in here yeah finishing powder because my face, oh, I just grabbed the blush. Because my face is just looking very dull. Like if it was 
very foundation -y, you know i'm gonna use the light brown that's in here this one's called feeling it and i'm only gonna take a tiny bit because it's pretty pigmented so i'm gonna set my eyelid first and i'm gonna use the lightest shade in here this one's called wiggles but now i'm gonna use the light brown and like i said i'm only taking a tiny bit because from what I remember, that shade, it's pretty pigmented, so it will show up a lot. And I want to build it up slowly. I want that brown to be a light brown. I don't want it to show up that much. I don't want to apply too much product because it will show up. Yeah, so I think that's good. I don't want to build it anymore, make it any darker. So this one is the blue one, and my brush is stained from purple, from the ColourPop look that I did. Oh, this one doesn't have a mirror. <laughs> So I'm gonna just apply this blue one right here in the crease. Take a little bit more. Look, you see I applied a bunch and now it's really there. It just doesn't take long for these to build up. They really show up on the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye and just really focus that on the crease area without getting too far up without getting too high to my brow bone now let me see i think i'm just gonna apply an eyelid shade all over the one that i wanted to use which is what is this one called it's called lucid this one on the corner so i'm gonna use the makeup revolution cut crease canvas product that i have been trying out and i like it like i thought i wasn't going to because it seemed like it was a little thin like kind of like too thin of a product but no it works really good so i'm just gonna apply that all over my eyelid I'm not going to do a precise cut crease or anything. I'm just going to apply that shade that I want all over the eyelid. There you go. So now I'm going to cover this up. If you've seen my other tutorials, you see that I'm just doing this. And to me, it just makes it so easy. Like, I don't have to do a precise cut crease. I don't have to do a halo eye. It's just I've been doing this. I apply a shade all over the eyelid and it looks really pretty. So I'm taking it with the same brush that I applied the concealer with. Or not the concealer, but the white product with. And I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. I'm not even spraying it with anything. I'm just putting it on the, the eyelid like that because the base is pretty sticky the thing that i like about it because it just helps my eyeshadow stick so there you go all over the eyelid look how cool that looks okay that shade is just such a pretty shade from this palette there you go just like that and i'm not gonna use any eyeliner or anything on top but i am gonna apply some falsies today i haven't used falsies in a long time so i'm gonna use my favorite by house of lashes these are the Allura Light. So now I'm going to choose a different shade to apply on the bottom. And I don't know which one I want to use. But I think I'm going to go with... So I think on the bottom I'm going to use the same blue shade. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this one on my lower lash line. And so this color on the bottom makes it look, makes the eye look, look a, little, a little brighter. I'm just going to take this small little fluffy blending brush and just go over that to make it look a little bit more blended out and it's not like a harsh line okay, and then on the bottom i'm gonna use this pencil right here by pixie this one's called um black blue and it is a very dark blue shade let me sharpen it real quick needs it and i'm gonna use this one on the bottom i was gonna use black but since i have this one that's almost black but it's still blue i think it'll look pretty with this look i keep grabbing this palette but it doesn't have a mirror so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this one down here so now on the inner corner because i do feel like i'm missing a little bit of highlights i'm gonna use the white shade that's in here that one's called blurred lines this one right here and you know what i think i'm gonna spray it i think i will let me see how it looks oh no that doesn't look bad so that's fine i'm just gonna use this one by itself right here and it's a really pretty shade i've used this color before i just can't remember how they look because i haven't used the palette in a while so there you go that looks very pretty and i'm going to take a tiny bit and just apply it on my brow bone not all the way across just like on the high point right there and then oh you think i should try the teal or blue mascara i wish you could answer me so that way i knew if i should or not okay so i think what i'm going to do is use this purple one i've already used this one in a separate look i think it'll look fine but we'll see if not then i'll just cover it up with black mascara no big deal but i want to see how it looks on the bottom combined with the blue shade 
Okay, so I think it looks cute even though you can't tell too much that it's purple because I'm not wearing purple eyeshadow on the bottom, but it still gives a little bit of the two colors, you know? And on the lips, I'm gonna use the white one that's in here. These are the Anastasia lip glosses that I got during like the holidays. And this one is called Diamond. So it's just like a white glittery lip gloss. And my lips have been very, very dry, so I'm not even using that many liquid lipsticks or anything like that. I'm just going for a lip gloss all by itself, not even piling them up anymore, like trying to use a lipstick, then a lip gloss. Just doing the lip gloss by itself, at least for now, because like I said, my lips are just dry. Oh, you know what? I don't have any highlight on my nose. I guess I missed that part. Which one was I using? I'm just going to take a little bit of the same highlighter that I use everywhere else and apply that here yeah that was for sure missing the foundation though i mean my entire makeup look like i like it i like the eyes i like the lipstick i even like like my face products the blush the bronzer the highlight like everything came out good the only thing that doesn't look that great is my skin and that's even with the oil that i applied underneath it so i can only imagine how it's gonna work without it but i will try it like that anyways like i said to give it a shot by itself i don't know for some reason i felt like this tutorial was kind of fast maybe it is maybe it's not but i felt like it went by pretty fast and i thought i was gonna take long Longer on the eyes because I wasn't sure about the combination and it was looking a little little crazy at the beginning when I started and I applied that blue on the eyes but now I'm loving it like the combination came out really good so I hope you guys liked it thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and I will see you tomorrow bye